damn protein do I eat in meat? Ah! What the fuck? You weren't in the frame. Ah. This ain't like gonna be some rah rah motivational food. We're waking up late because I'm getting over a cold. Shouldn't be contagious. About to get to work though for stand up and shit. Was one of my uh, students, man, you know, I do uh, training for the fitness entrepreneurs. This dude got five high ticket clients in his first four weeks. You know what I'm saying? He just got his uh, fifth one. I just saw it in the group. That's dope, man. That's dope. That's dope. We are getting it. Anna over 10K in two weeks. <laughs> I'm really good at, at teaching. It's rewarding because I can change someone's business faster than I can change someone's body. It's like when I used to get from training, I still get that right, like helping people change their body. I can change someone's business. She was making almost zero money online. Now she made 10K in two weeks, which is crazy. You should join the free group, get some free advice. If you, you want to learn that, shit, link should be in the description, man. But we out here. Sent Harry some folders. Um, sent you the stories for one. Yeah, yeah. Victory vlog stuff, made some thumbnails. I, I planned a lot of videos, I scripted them out. We got around eight. The script was just too long. I was like, oh shit, these are different videos. <laughs> yeah. Mmm, what's what that? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, where is the oil? Mmm. Oh, that ain't the one I use. The coconut. I use the coconut oil on, on my skin. Mmm. Yeah. Second, I gotta put the coconut oil on my body. Too much. Ah! Before I film these videos, so my muscles glisten. <laughs> That's one of the silly mistakes people make when they're trying to lose when they're trying to lose fat. Talking about muscle soreness. Do you need to get sore? And my daily routine because <laughs> she did that shit upside down. Hands down, high five, way to go, bro, labs. You, I will support you 100. So, anyways, talk to you later, guys. Bye. Yo, Maddie's awesome. Maddie is awesome. I'm on antibiotics. I can't get nobody sick now. Whatever. A lot from you. There's a lot coming from you. You from Europe. Yeah, all I right. think you're gonna die from that. No, it's different. <laughs> this is cause y'all brought this over to America. Indians never got sick. <laughs> <laughs> then we just say a bunch of words. <laughs> Watch this video to find out more. <laughs> that sounds like you're near at your teeth. <laughs> oh, what's up, Rand? <laughs> Bella, my muscles are sore. How do I get rid of the soreness? Wait, working out gets rid of soreness? Yes. There's a lot of other things to get rid of soreness too. Why don't you watch this video and find out? Let's go. You want to stay active to get rid of soreness. A lot of times you'll, you'll want to chill, but that's the wrong thing to do. Or you want to like get some active rest, like she said, or even some cardio would be very beneficial. You know the videos are coming up. Only up to here. Gotcha, so, gotcha. You know. Oh, I need to change my shirt too. Alright. You almost smacked the camera out of his hand. I'm not dressed! What the heck are you doing? I got a protein every three hours, or else I'm gonna lose all my muscle. Goddamn protein? Do I eat it? Ah! You weren't in the frame. Oh. You gotta do it again. How much protein do I even need, like, per day? That's like the fuck? Calculator. Oh, so I can calculate how much protein I need mm -hmm. per day. You wanna know how much protein you need per day? Watch this video, find out. I just knocked out Seven a whole years. lot of videos. And now we're gonna take a 15 minute break, mental break, because this shit is tiring, and then we're gonna try to get into it, see how many we can get done. if you're losing muscle watch this video to find out remember 
we're closing in on the end of the month, so if you're trying to win that money, you might want to put somebody's gonna win. Okay. Yep, just like Thanos and Gamora, I will kill you for the right reason. I mean, no mistake, I will not hesitate. Right. I might not like it, but I will kill you under the right circumstances. <laughs> no, guys, I want to give you guys some quick keto tips for those of y'all who are just getting started or thinking about getting started. <laughs> I want to talk to y'all about something real quick. Brian came through, Lil Brandon said we, was, we got him on customer service. And we was getting a lot of refunds, man, for a uh, thing we, we put out this week, uh, the sale we're doing. And I was like, fuck, a lot of refunds? Yeah, what's going on? What am I doing wrong? You know what I'm saying? And then I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, how many? Is it really a lot? You know, I checked with Brandon and then he said, Brandon's new here, right? So it's not his fault. It was eight, eight refunds out of 115 new customers, right, in the last uh, 48 hours. 115 new customers, eight refunds. That's like five, six percent uh, refund rate. That's fucking great. That's amazing. Uh, so refunds are gonna happen. As long as it's under 10%, man, you're fine. Don't worry about it. If it goes over 10%, then you might wanna see what's, what's happening. I don't wanna hear about that. That's actually good. I'm happy with that. Like, I'm, 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 I'm impressed. The thing is, like, don't let people use words like a lot or many or like just vague words. Like, you, you wanna get the data? Because if it was like really a lot, I can say that over 10%, you know what I'm saying? Then then we need to like figure it out. This, I mean, we don't do nothing, man. Just keep doing, we're doing great. Don't let people use words like a lot, like get the data, like the percentage. If someone can say, I got a lot of sales, well, what's the conversion rate? Because if the conversion rate is under under 2%, that's bad. You want to think in terms of efficiency, like numbers only mean something within context. So eight refunds, that ain't nothing. I'm like, I'm happy with that. Like, that's dope. We're doing a great job. If it was fucking 15 refunds, then I'd be like, yo, what's good? Why is it at 10%? Or if it was 20, what's going on? Eight? That's no, that's dope. We can probably save some of those. Anyway, I'm about to get the fuck out of here and I'll holler at y'all.